what you can do is you can, uh, you know, you can call me. I can help you find a home. Or if you're working with somebody, uh, ask them to make one of the search criteria the days on market, right? Right. So if we see houses that have been on the market for 60 to 90 days um, and they're not moving, if, if it's the house you like or it's something you think you can work with, um, you should go take a look at the house because the sellers are going to be much more willing to negotiate or even, you know, offer a decent amount of credits. Uh, Why do you think they're on the market that long? It depends, you know. Um, Overpriced. <laughs> Overpriced, yeah, but I'll, I'll tell you, uh, something that I saw that was kind of an anomaly is when we saw the rates adjust, Yeah, anything that was listed within that one to two week period um, sat on the market for a while because there was some initial shock in the market, right? right. At least, for, yeah, for almost two months. Yeah, and, and it usually takes three months when the drastic rate in increases for people to get used to it. So there's a lot of houses that have hung out on the market, kind of no fault of their own, right? It was just... T the timing and what in the time in which the rates you know increased um and so take a look at those homes because people's people's mindsets kind of change a little slower than what the market does right and so people look and they think like oh it's been on the market more than a week there's something wrong with it when in actuality it's just a you know victim of circumstance um there's so many nice homes that just got listed at that at that time and people got scared they didn't go look and they didn't get it in contract Right. And then price point. I mean, I talked about this before. If you're an FHA price point in that area, 476 or below, it's going to go. Yeah. That's just, there's just a lot of people in that price point um, because anybody with a 680 or below FICO score is going FHA.